what was what was the recording process like? You know, working on that second Boys in the Hood album. Are y'all in the studio all together? Do some of y'all come in and lay your verses? At other times, some come in and lay their verses. Like, like, what was that whole process for you? We was pretty much in the studio together by the time it was uh, it was album times. We, we had, you know, I want to say we had probably cut a hundred records. You know what I'm saying? So we, we had cut a lot of records enough for like two, put out two different mixtapes, and then then the album. So we had, yeah, we had cut a lot of records. Um. In order to do that, we, you know, talking, talking, you, you trying to, you trying to do two records a day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which ain't hard. You talking about, you know, you just trying to not, you know, get them off. You don't, you ain't, you don't know how it's gonna turn out. So like, that's consistent every day coming in. Everybody, yeah. Some people can only be here for this amount of hours. You don't need everybody there the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Once, you know, Jody a hook, Jody, Jody a hook meister. So once Jody, you know, he finished his hook, he can kind of slide it, move how he wants to. Because he's going to come back, he's going to lace his verse. You know what I'm saying? He's going to drop his verse. Uh, you know, he magical with his, with his words and, you know, um, understanding the voice tone. So he, he but he was, he pretty much, he stayed in the studio with me to, we, um, I was more in the studio with Gita, Gita than anybody, Big Gita. Mm-hmm. Uh, come in, do a thing, but actually in the in the studio, I was I spent the most time with Gita. Got you, got you. Okay, so 2007 roll around. This is a big year. This is damn near your coming out party. Um, yeah. You know, and, and I want to say even before the Boys in the Hood album dropped. And before your solo project, Jock, Young Jock, you was on the bottle popping record with him. And um, what's the other record that you was on uh, with him? The coffee shop joint. So your whole world changed around that point. What was that like for you? World, man. Overwhelming. Uh, felt overwhelming. Uh, you don't you don't know what it's, it's it's scary it's scary everything that you try to it's like the opposite <clears throat> you try to stay un, under the radar undetected you don't want to make a big footprint like none of that it all flips your footprint has to be everywhere you got to talk you got to talk and, and be everywhere you are everything is being watched recorded <laughs> you know what i'm saying like it just changes, it, it, it goes from really being a, a, a stray dog, a street dog, like a, like a, a you know what I'm saying, a survivor to, you know, you don't be groomed up and fed up and, and, and uh, shaped in the shape of a, a, a prize dog. Now you sitting on like, it, it, and it's every day. So seeing, and the speed of that. See, for me, I don't know, but y'all know. Y'all got this it's there, there's phase one, phase two, phase three. This is where the budget's going here. This is what on this day you're gonna be here. You know, the whole thing you uh when you design uh how can I say it? Bird's eye view sitting in the skybox, you see the whole game, right? You see the whole game, but when you're out on the field for the first time. Oh, it's it's fast. It's fast. It's like you know, it's like sports. You go into the big league. You you hear cats talk about man, professionals a lot faster than college. It college a lot faster than high school. Correct. Straight, you know, straight to that. So it was fast. It was, it was a, a whirlwind. You know something? How how did you even get on the? I mean, Jock is coming off a monster crossover record. Is going down. His album is platinum. How did you even get on his first two singles off his second, his follow up album? Uh, I think a combination of uh, Block and Jock, and then um, if fitting well, I guess you know, um, Harv and 
Puff, everybody liked it or liked the idea. But how it happened, well, let me say it's all designed. Block, uh, block was playing, and he was in the sky box. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like, <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure he said, all right, Jock need a single. Uh, coffee Shop, I, I think that's Dream on a single. I think that's Dream on Coffee Shop singing that. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and uh, he made sure he put me on that. He got me some light. And I appreciate both of them for that. The same yeah, but, but I, what, what I'm saying is it ain't like you are a real zoe that the world looked like you 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 had the opportunity of a lifetime yeah. at that point to be featured on a major artist first single, single follow-up album major yeah major. i'm saying hey what can i say i, I can't i didn't do that <laughs> i was no i didn't I, how, who how but at this point in time it's, it's gonna how 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 big um, a budget is, or the budget is. I can't move and come stand on somebody's budget. Hey, I'm ready to come out, put me on a single. Dress me up and put me in the budget. I, I can't do that, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta say, you know, I'm thankful. I'm super thankful. I don't think it'd be a gorilla zone if those moves wasn't made. Nah, nah, not at all. And for that matter, you know, you you said earlier that, that Jock was always good to you, you know, how how did those records come? Like, was those records completed, and then they put you on it, or was you and Jock in the studio writing together? And he's like, "Yo, I, you know, at the time that records are recorded, that's block none of us know." That's, Go block, ahead. that's block fighting for. Uh, he was fighting for what he knew he needed to, what needed to happen. So, bottle popping, um, was brought to me. Dude, sample. Took a sample off a hood figure. Like, bro, I got your, I got your next single, though. And I played it. And I was like, oh, whoa, whoa. Block heard it. And I automatically went, man, load this up. Because Jock will be here in like an hour. I want to just knock this out before Jock get here because I ain't going to be able to get back in the studio. So the engineer loaded it up and Block was like, uh, hey, come ride with me. We took a ride. I think we went and he, he took me to go get some clothes. He took me shopping. And I think we went to go, went to go, we went to uh Fezzi and he bought me a chain. Now the whole time in my head, I'm telling the engineer, don't let nobody touch this record. <laughs> I'll be back. But Block knew what he was doing. By the time I got back, Jock had already did the record. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> so, uh, and it, it was the best thing. But at that time, I was, I was, I was pissed. I didn't get it. I'm like, man, take, take, took my record, took my record, but not knowing, like, what is he's bigger than you right now? The the, the budget's on him. The best thing he, you can do is ride the wave. And, uh, that, you know, that's kind of what Block told me. He was like, man, you well, want to go even signed? Was you even signed at that point? Yeah, yeah, I was signed. You were signed? Yeah, I was signed. He, he was telling me, "Better thing you do, if you want to make it where you need to go, just ride the wave." Nah, that's the formula right there. Just piggyback off of somebody who's already popping, and because of that, I mean, coffee shop, bottle popping. I mean, you got that look to set you up. So now, when you drop your joint, the world is ready for you. Yeah, yep. Get out your own way. Get out, get out your own way, young man. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.